What's going on, y'all? This is Chris with Culture Unplugged. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and hit that like button down there and subscribe because the video topic, we're going to get into it. I can't wait. We're going to be talking about dating a single mom in your 30s. So if you came here to watch this video, don't go anywhere. We're going to get right into it. Uh, but also, if you're a returning member, welcome back. You already know how we do. This is like your house right here. We go, we just gonna get into it. But help the channel grow. So like the video, share your comments in the comments section about this video. I'd love to talk to you about it. And we're gonna get into some good news um, right at this little video. So go ahead and watch a little video, stick around, and let's get it unplugged, y'all. So, uh, yeah, um, first of all, I just want to go ahead and shout out my own uh, business, apparel, new apparel business has just launched at CoveredAndCulture.com, or you can use the existing domain for now at CulturedUnplugged.com. We've got all types of different uh, shirts, hoodies, shorts, uh, five panel caps. I'm so excited. So if you're seeing the sign back there that is my brand covered in culture which basically means to be spiritually protected and mentally explored so go ahead and check me out go to coveredinculture.com or culturedunplugged.com it'll get you back to the same site i'll put the link in the description down there so you can go ahead and check me out and just see what fit or outfit or, or whatever type of shirt you want to go ahead and support me on and uh see what looks good on you all right so let's get into the topic topic is of today and i was having this conversation um been having this conversation over several couple of months and i've been kind of debating if i wanted to bring it out and talk about it but i have to i definitely have to because uh man dating a single mother in your 30s hits different it hits different so let me just kind of jump back first of all this is not a video to you know bash single women with kids it's not at all like that i'm gonna actually uh have to say it's it's a it comes with its own risks and reward okay so the risks and reward so let's just get into it uh from the very beginning that i can remember me dating someone with a kid uh me dating someone and a kid actually started in my 20s so in my 20s I remember I was dating someone who had like three kids. I kid you not. And I was like, look, I have no room uh, between you and these three kids. But I was at the same time, I was still kind of curious because, you know, what I mean, like she's a single mom, you know, with kids and she's got her stuff kind of already established. She looking good. So I was only thinking about, you know, the the aspect of how attractive that she looked. But I didn't take into account like you could come into this house with these kids who are there and it's already kind of like a ready-made family. So you kind of like walk into it as if they got to, the kids kind of get to know you and you start liking the kids and the kids start, it's become so complicated if that relationship doesn't work out. So I'm not saying it's, it's tough uh, as in the fact that you can't do it. It can be done, but let it be something where if you don't have any kids in the relationship, one to two maybe two my max is two you know if you got a kid you know one to two kids i'm i think it's fine it just comes with challenges and the challenges are obviously as you might already know the first one is going to be time quality time the most important part of a relationship is to build quality time with your person sometimes uh you're just not going to be able to you know hang with your lady she can't just pop over she's got to schedule a babysitter she's got to schedule you know activities her life is around her kid and you got to kind of like respect that so um i grew up in a home where mom was a single mom and she had to really kind of you know work it out and i had to i started to come into that fact like i'm in a whole adult and managing my own time my own schedule what i got going on can i handle legitimately having uh you know to really work around someone else's schedule because of a kid, you know? So no, everything gotta be planned. Everything for the most part gotta plan. Is if if the kid is like, let's say that, you know, the kid has a baby father or whatever. I mean, the kid has a baby father, the kid has a father. The kid has a father in the child's life, which is great. At that point, 
then hey, you know, you could do you with your lady as long as the kid is not under the mom's uh, supervision or what, whatever for that day or that weekend or whatever the case may be. The next thing, uh, you gotta also deal with baby father. So we talked about the baby father, right? So if the kids, but you know, father is in their life, y'all gotta work out. And if y'all don't gotta work out, if y'all not working out or communication sucks, then uh, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be really tough because at that point, you know, the whole uh, relationship aspect to make things easy without no issue is where you have a unification where everybody's on board, everybody's respecting, um, you know, each other. And I think that's the most a grown adult shit you could do. It's like, you could, you know, be in a relationship with someone who has a kid and, the, and their father, the kid's father is in their life and you both of y'all just kind of work together and it's no issues, no beef, it's no big problems or nothing like that. But that's not the case for everybody. Some baby fathers are wild, you know what I'm saying? And it's the truth, man. Like if they don't have no good tolerant relationship or they always fussing and cussing, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. Or the, this other scenario could pop in, how, how much do you trust your lady? How much do you trust your lady who has a kid with a baby father who's also in their life? That could be another instance of some type of easily able to, to, you know, to get back in there. Like I dated somebody who had a, you know, a kid, of course, and the baby father was able to just, as easy as he was able to just pick up the kid or, you know, whatever, he was able to pick up the drawers off the floor from her. You know what I'm saying? So all these things could just happen where you just don't know. And I'm not saying again, not saying you can't do it. I'm just saying it comes with challenges, risks and reward. The reward, I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, a woman with kids got that fire on her. You already, if I ain't gotta spell it out for you, you already know. A lot of times, listen, they got that fire on them. I don't know what it is after the baby comes out the canal that now, you know, it's like the floodgates of water is just always running or whatever is going on, but let me tell you something. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna say any more about that. Um, but the risk, the risk also still is, hey, that's a kid that's already born that you haven't birthed. Like you haven't helped birth, it's not your child. Until you bring your child into the world, then it becomes another thing. And then of course, when you have a kid, right, you bring a, a child into the, to her life in addition to what she already has, if you go so far to do that, now you gotta look at the other kid, of course, as your kid too. You gotta be, you gotta be pops, step pops, step pops. I think fatherhood is a straight up social construct. It's something that you just do. You know, everybody just knows. You know, you gotta bring love. You don't have to be a biological to take care of a child. It's just straight up. You know what I mean? So. You gotta adopt that child as if it was your child. Even if the child's father's in their life, you still gotta, you know, step up and do your thing. I watched a video about a situation, and this is not kind of flipping this a little bit for the thought. Um, I watched a video about this dude who was basically saying that he was gonna leave the woman that he was with simply because she didn't wanna, she, oh yeah, he was gonna leave the, 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 the kid. He had a kid with this chick. He's going to leave this woman would not want to be in her life with the kid only because she's trying to be with somebody else. And so he doesn't want to be a father. That's crazy. It's crazy to me. I don't support nobody that make a kid and that don't want to own up to being the child's father. It's crazy to me. Step up, do your thing, be a father. Let's like straight up, like, you know what I mean? Like I could never put myself in a situation um, of just straight up saying, I don't want to take care of my kid. That's wild. That's not going to be me. But um, but more on this, right? Like, just think of it as there's always a risk and there's always a reward. And a reward sometimes, sometimes a risk, sometimes a reward way out the either or. It just depends on you. Um, dating a single mom in your 30s, it just becomes like you don't have a lot of patience for a lot of things. And you got to find some. Like, you straight up. You got to find some. Your whole mentality is like, I done been there, done that, you know, I don't maybe have already gone on and done all my wild fun stuff. And now I want to do something else. Now I'm ready to do something that is straight up about, you know, owning up to my, my, my next phase of my life or whatever, whatever it is, 
you got to make it make sense for you and this other person who has a child um, in their life that they're raising and taking care of. And you say, look, you know what? I'm cashing in all my chips. I had a good time. I'm giving up all that extra crazy stuff because once that kid, once that kid starts liking you and then loving you, it is different when you uh, rather not, I mean, besides your lady, you know, if you decide that y'all not going to work out, y'all be on your own pity party. But in your kid, that kid also becomes affected. That kid also thinks about all the things that maybe they could have, you know, you, you and them could have done, right? Like, so you got to always think about it before you get into any situation, relationship and all those things. Think about where do you see yourself in that relationship? How are you going to add value in their life if that's what you truly want to be? And if not, then why even begin to be there, right? Like, it has to make sense. It has to make sense for your growth. Um, relationships shouldn't come with more challenges than it does reward for your life. I don't care about, you know, she got a fat ass or none of that crazy stuff, like, the minimal stuff. At the end of the day, what truly matters? What is it that is going to keep you satisfied with that person because a lot of people who have kids are horrible parents straight up so at the end of the day is choosing the right partner for you but if it's truly the right partner brother i wish you all the respect i got all the respect and love for you for doing that for just stepping up and being you know a father figure because i had a step pops i still have a step pops to this day and one of the best experiences i and know you know have a relationship with my, my actual father too but some of the best experiences and just being able to just grow and develop somebody as if they were your own and you're taking it on. That's, I give you all the big, big credit for you on that. But let me know what you think in the comment section. I think I've talked all about what it is to date a single mom in your 30s. Let me know what you think, of course. But also visit this, my new brand, my new apparel. Visit my website, coveredinculture.com or culturedunplugged.com. Visit my site, visit my store. Let me know what you think about the store. Let me know what you think about, you know, the whole brand. I appreciate your intake and opinions. Uh, it always show me love. And then let me know what you'd like to see for the next video. All right, y'all take it easy. Let's get it unplugged.